Was that a spider? Hey, what's up? Oh! Ground is the latest early access AAA survival horror game from Obsidian, the development studio behind a bunch of mediocre, low-budget titles that no one's really ever heard of. But man, have they made a bombshell with this one. Now, taking a step away from their role-playing roots, Obsidian has developed what may be the most gruesome, terrifying horror game to come to the PC since Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, that, that joke's never gonna get old. Rumor is that Rick Moranis, high off the success of 2006's Brother Bear 2, decided it was time to reboot the 1989 whoopsie daisy comedy, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, into not only a movie, I literally just learned about this five minutes ago, but also a AAA video game title. This thing works, so put us right up there with the invention of electricity. You begin grounded as one of four teens. Holy shit, there's a guy in here named Max, and he wants to be an entertainment superstar just like me? Oh my god. You begin the game as Max, a precocious and carefree teen with impeccable skin. God damn. Completely unaware of the absolute horrors about to beset him, Max finds himself in the backyard, only something's different. This isn't like the time he dropped acid over at Hoops' uncle's place. He's been shrunk. Must be one of those. Those prank TV shows. An extremely elaborate, realistic prank show. Why does he not give a f You gather fiber, pebblets, and the flesh of your enemies to make weapons and wage war on the adorable little creatures that occupy the yard. You'll collect blades of grass to build yourself a small home. You'll combine the top of an acorn and some sprigs to craft yourself a smoothie station befitting of the littlest of Karens coming home from their weekly Pilates class. And all the while, Max doesn't give a f Dude is ripping ants limb from limb, roasting gnats on a spit, having his insides paralyzed and devoured by wolf spiders at night, and he doesn't bat an eye. America is truly desensitizing our children. Anyway, there's a small story. <laughs> See what I did there? But because the game is released in early access, only about 20% of it is in the game so far. And I gotta hand it to Obsidian. The game is relatively bug free. <laughs> no, let's not use that one. But there's still a lot to see and explore. The sense of scale in this game is absolutely incredible. Here I am staring at an oak tree up in what you think is the game's skybox, but it's an actual tree that you can run up to and explore. And then barricade and burn to the ground before seeking psychiatric counsel. This game is just dripping in themes from the 90s, too. Seriously, even the zigzags and the odd shapes in the research bubbles around the map remind me of when I was a character on WTTW Zoom back in 1999. I'm Zoe. Hey, I'm Jared. No, I'm Kato. I'm Max. Do it. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, Grounded seems to borrow inspiration less from a bug's life and more from the forest. Aside from the wood chopping and the bow mechanics, what seems like an adorable romp through the larger-than-life setting at its core is an acute psychological horror game where vicious, bloodthirsty beasts emerge from the shadows to play croquet with your limbs. I half expected to find the disembodied remains of my fellow teens strewn throughout the backyard. Maybe due to an unfortunate counter with a lawnmower or hang from the jaws of a fluffy arachnophobia mode spider. But there's plenty of time in the next 17 years of early access development to add in the finishing touches to the game. Overall, I give Grounded 4 <laughs> out of 5. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I've ever screamed like that in my life.